Tiffany Bra has proved that blindness is not a barrier and now the disability rights advocate and founder of the Jyotir Gamaya Foundation is on a mission to help those with visual impairments become self-reliant and independent. This echolocation workshop, the first ever by the Jyotir Gamaya Foundation, is part of that mission. The workshop and indeed the foundation itself are born from Tiffany's own experiences of being excluded and discriminated against because of her disability. As that's what blind people always, most of us were taught to have a low confidence. I mean, our parents would say, no, 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 no. I think the first words I learned was no, 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 because I continued hearing my parents say that. Let him hear the direction where the... During this workshop, blind participants were taught how to make use of sound in order to gauge their surroundings, which is called echolocation. This echolocation, along with cane techniques on busy roads and in parks, will enable them to identify various objects only by their echoes. The workshop is just one part of the very and multi-utility vocational training that Tiffany and her team provide. Here we train uh, visually impaired people in uh, mobility orientation, computers, um, use of Android and iPhones, uh, Windows, Linux, interpersonal skills and English. We accept students from all over India who wish to learn these things. It's a four to six month fully fledged training course. Uh, I've been hearing about this thing called echolocation and I thought um, I should uh, check it out and that's when I came to know that uh, Jodhi Gama is organizing this workshop and I thought I should uh, you know, give it a try so that I can um, become more independent because uh, being independent is what I value the most. Our outdoor spaces are not designed with accessibility and mobility in mind. People with low or no vision are often at risk of getting seriously injured while crossing streets or navigating roads with potholes and ditches. And the injuries are not always just physical. These kind of things really, really affect us mentally. Like we're like, should we walk on the road? Should we not? Now people like Tony and me and a few other people would say, okay, to hell with it. We'll continue, we'll walk, we'll do whatever it takes, but we, we need to get there. But there are many people who are closeted inside the four walls of their house and, and who don't know mobility. It is for those people closeted inside their homes that Tiffany and her team seek to create a space of learning and growth. For almost 7 crore Indians living with blindness, it is a harsh reality to have to adapt to a world that doesn't adapt to their specific needs. But these barriers aren't just physical. It's not just infrastructure, it's the attitudinal barrier. People have to be, have to be useful, they have to be made to feel that they are useful. Just like anyone else, just like any other employee, we just need some adaptations. A born fighter, Tiffany has refused to let her disability either define her or limit her. Through her Jyotir Gamaya Foundation, Tiffany has helped train and empower countless blind people, earning her awards, accolades and recognition. That degree of independence and self-belief is what Tiffany wants for other blind people in India and this workshop is just the beginning.